Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Jack. Welcome back to my channel. It is still Christmas time and for Christmas the Gymshark gods have blessed us with dun, 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 New Gymshark Legacy. We have some old pieces, the shorts and the leggings, some new pieces, the bandos. I got a little bit of everything because I wanted to try it out and I'm excited to show you guys. I remember when the shorts were released. I don't know if that was last year or two years ago and they sold out so quick. It was insane and then anytime anyone was selling them you could sell them for like $80 and they retail for like 40 so it was wild I was pleasantly surprised when they came out with them and they didn't sell out like hotcakes I think they are still available even too lots to check out lots to review let's get started so I'll start with the shorts they were the big ticket item the legacy is this like kind of brushed material it's soft and it's light this year's version actually feel a little thicker than the previous especially in this top waistband i think the last version it felt a lot thinner so i am happy that they're a little thicker hopefully they'll provide a little bit more compression they have a slight taper to the waistband and in the front it's pretty wide like you have a thick waistband well, i don't know how i feel about that no front seam on the side i don't think you have pockets because you have the scrunch detail on the sides it scrunches up the sides of the shorts then the length of the shorts are adjustable i'm not sure about the durability of the scrunch and then the back has a lot of seam detail it has a nice v seam and then a little one underneath no butt scrunch and the logos a press on and they did it tonal this year so it's really pretty and then i also got these in the black and the black logo is just a nice gray everything's the same about these i i'd scrunched them up earlier but yeah i'm excited for these they feel nice and soft so we'll see how they fit the other big talk of the town was the legacy bandos if you're familiar with gymshark they have a bandeau in like a million colors now kind of similar but it came with adjustable straps that we'll talk about in a minute material wise it's the same kind of brushed soft material and then this bandeau has more seams than the usual ones they come out with it has seam details on the side the logo in the middle same color as the shorts it's nice and thick on the back. Removable pads and then the straps. In the back they're sewn in, but in the front they have a hook where you can like unhook it and you could do a racer back, an asymmetrical. I'm not sure how it works because I saw some girls, if you do asymmetrical, like they're in the same one. I guess they do fit. I thought that'd be harder. So this has both straps going in the one. And then the inside has little rubber guys and they look like, whoops. Little rubber guys and they look like the Gymshark logo. I got it in the green, the pink, and the beige. Love the neutrals, but I also love pops of color, so. Dun, 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 dun. The new legacy. I am wearing the bra in the asymmetrical style. At first I put it in the front and I guess you could put this, no, I guess you couldn't. Could you? I'm not sure. <laughs> it sits in the back, so this is what the back looks like. And it does feel like this side kind of slips out a little bit. So if you're bigger chested, you might have some issues. And the straps do feel kind of loose. And like straps are never loose on me. So that's really saying something. The bandeau fits pretty true to all their other bandos. Some people said it fits better, but it honestly doesn't feel that much different to me. I like the tonal logo. It definitely is compressive. Again, if you have a bigger bust though, it could be like peeking out here because I don't have a huge one. It's pretty low on the armpits. These are the legacy shorts and right now I have them at the normal length. And even full length, these are a good length on me. Love the waist now. The last ones, they were just like, I didn't like them as much. Maybe it's just me, but these definitely feel like a little bit thicker. It provides a little bit more compression. The waistband is very long though. You can see like it comes all the way down to here to so just have like <laughs> that much waistband and it does kind of roll down a little bit like when I move it'll roll down a little bit this is the back even when they roll down then you lose some of the logo I think these are pretty squat proof though the material feels thick and durable increase the scrunch you can make them kind of shorter it didn't get that but I guess it I guess it did if you kind of want them like really right underneath the glutes and then you kind of just have these like little <laughs> things hanging out. 
if you have them just be conscious when you're walking you know like they can get caught on doorknobs and stuff i really like the idea of the adjustable shorts i think that's a really fun idea but practically i don't know how many people use it you know but the all green outfit's fun Oh, I forgot to say everything so far has been in size medium. I usually like sizing up in shorts so the waistband's not too tight and I'm usually medium in sports bras. These are the leggings. So the leggings do have a butt scrunch. This is kind of similar to the Whitney butt scrunch. It's like in the material and it's almost like gathered and ruched so that when it's on you don't really see it. But it's the same thick waistband, the same seam detail. I have the last brown, the pink one, and I put this in the racerback style. I really like the idea of them. I think they're fun. I don't know how many styles I would wear it in, but I put the leggings on, and I don't know. Leggings have just been like very tight on me, in, like the lower leg area, and I don't particularly think I have big calves or anything, but getting them up, they were kind of tight. The waistband, I feel like, is a little bit higher than the shorts. This is the back. I don't really know if you can see the scrunch at work in this black color, but you don't feel it or anything. It's already kind of rolling like underneath, you know, my waist hits here and the material comes up a little higher. So then it kind of just rolls to where it would sit, where it should sit. Really soft. They're a nice like material. They're like brushed, but sleek and they come to a good length. Oh yeah. Even doing that, it rolls down constantly. That annoys me with my leggings. So. They also came out with some acid wash items. They came out with these like loose shorts, but they look so long. I didn't want to try them. <laughs> I was interested in these short sleeve tops. So these are 100% cotton. They have a little acid wash detail and then the logo at the bottom. And the first thing I noticed was that the logo kind of starts low and that tends to bother me just because I feel like there's space when there doesn't need to be. So I got green and the blue. And the blue's a little darker than I thought on the site. I feel like the logo looks a little bit more visible than it is in real life. The short sleeve is a little bit more cropped than expected. It hits like right under your bra. Like if I'm resting, my bra is here. But I mean, if you move your arms at all, it comes up pretty high. Back's plain. And it kind of, it's like tight here. So that also brings it up, like just moving, you know, kind of raises it up a little. And this is the blue version. This logo is really hard to see, so I don't like it as much in person. And then they also have a long sleeve. The logo's in the middle and it's really small. And the long sleeve's a full length shirt when i first put it on it does feel very tight in the arms like it's a little constricting here too maybe that's just because i'm getting massive i got this in a size small i do think it fits fine like if i got my normal size medium it would just be you know more loose everywhere like the small fits well in this area but the sleeves are kind of tight but that could be intentional you know to kind of show off your arms a little bit more it's pretty plain the back is plain I probably won't keep it just because it is just a plain long sleeve, but. And then the last item I got is this crew. I got it in this really pretty neutral beige color. And I got the long sleeve in this in a small because they look kind of oversized online. We'll see if I regret that. This feels nice and thick. So it's more of a terry material inside, but it doesn't feel as rough as the rest day did. It kind of has a slight mock neck with some seam detail in the front, a pocket, and then the back has the logo. It has a nice thick band at the bottom. So I think that'll be good to help kind of sit it in a flattering way above your glutes. There's no thumb holes and just a normal wrist detail here. So I thought the crew was oversized, but I guess not. It does feel very tight. It kind of cinches in the back, which is good for the glutes but it does make it kind of narrow. So I would say stick to your true to size slash size up. The mock neck is good, it's not too tight, and I think that look is really cute. The sleeves are good, it's not restricting at all in this area, but then it like gets very tight all of a sudden here. Because I do have a short torso, the pockets kind of, you know, bunch up a little bit, and I can't even 
bring it any lower it kind of rides up here i would say definitely stay true to size and size up if in between this is the back this is very not comfy and unflattering in my opinion so i will be returning it well, that is it for my review. Thanks if you're still here. Thanks for tuning in all the way to the end. I will say the Legacy Collection, I didn't love a ton of the like loungy other pieces. The shorts actually I liked a bit more than I expected, but the leggings were really tight in the legs and then they rolled down a lot more because the waistband was higher, where the shorts I found the waistband a little lower. And then the rest of the pieces just didn't feel anything special to me. Thanks for tuning in. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Please comment in below if you have any questions. Please subscribe for future activewear reviews. Bye. Love you.